to solve the mystery, and even the art curator here didn't know about this. Now, I want to talk about this and Ogden's historic work and how Jim Jacobs hijacked the art school here and destroyed it. When Jake Hatlin's mother here, Frank Colette, would roll in his graves. This is, I knew it when I saw it. I'm like, oh my God, where did this come from? I knew it was real. It's strong. He's a local guy. We, I mean, do you know what this painting was worth? So this painting made its way around the world and it's come home finally. You know, I got kicked out of this art school because, uh, I mean, that's a whole nother thing. Talk about a feather in my cap. So you can see it was vandalized. So let me tell you how this came about. So it was the protesters and the panty painters in Ogden, in Ogden, went psycho about this painting. They forced them to take it down. This is what happened to this beautiful place, Ogden, the home of Fama K. Brody, the home of Bernard DeVoto, the home of Richard Scowcroft, the heart of all these hardcore gripes. I mean, incredible artists. So they forced him to take it down. This thing made its way. God, it's a miracle it got back here. So it was into an estate, and one of the oligarchs somehow ended up buying it, got it, and they passed recently. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. And inside that estate, Strong himself had written that it needs to come home. Oh, it came home. The panty painters who destroyed this art school when I was here, I mean, I was here in the late 70s and early 80s, you know, and I switched to finance, blah, blah, blah. That's another whole story. I remember when I switched to finance and Clyde Cooley and Arthur Adam, who taught up here, he says, oh my God, Kevin, you're really gonna, I, I, did, I was working on the first BSE thing. He's like, you're really? Oh, how disgusting, a life of just making money. And I'm like, no, 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 no. But Jim Jacobs kicked me out. <laughs> when I have the last letter of recommendation for the greatest professor who ever taught here, Clyde Cooley. I mean, I ran his whole program, they screwed me, blah, 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 blah. This is a big story. What a masterpiece. Oh my God, what a masterpiece. I'm so thrilled that it is back here. I just had a talk with the curator. And apparently she claims I'm going to Arden High that, you know, I've been fighting to get the WPA painted Arden High that, that we finally got it. She says it's over there on loan earth. Thank you. So some good things are happening at the, this corrupt university. You know, the University of General Electric has come down. This is a big story. I'm so, when I saw it, I was so thrilled. Mystery solved. What a masterpiece. Oh, my God. Local, local. Local, these great. We got our backs turned on it. My mother's Marjean Hunsaker, the great pinup artist from Woodbury. That's my mom. Local, local, local. <laughs> oh boy, she rejected the whole scene, burned most of her work. Oh God, she was a piece of work. What a beauty. I will quote Vargas himself. Oh, yeah, your mom could draw like a camera. She could have been her own model. She rejected the whole scene and married my father and come home and played Mormon girl. <laughs> Raised five kids in her bouffant hairdo and her cotton dresses. Pretty amazing. No, you're all right, go ahead. You're fine. What a freaking masterpiece this is. Oh, I saw it, I walked into the other day, I'm like, whoa. Is that what I think it is? So he's a local. He went to school here. We have a lot of great alumni here that we turn our backs on, you know, including Kevin Blanche. Stand tuned.